everyone, I'm Andy Jenks with Henrico County Public Schools and if you've made it this far, you've made it to the last in our series of videos designed to help students and families be successful on the first day of school, which is Tuesday, September 8th. We've come to the point where we have created our PowerSchool account, we've figured out our devices, we've explained what Clever and Schoology are and what they do and we're about to participate in our very first class on that first day of school. John Gregory once again is joining us from our teaching, learning and innovation team. John, thank you very much. And we're talking about Microsoft Teams. That's the environment where classes take place. How do we get there? What's it look like once we're in? Yeah, Andy, thanks. So great to be back. Let's talk a little bit about finishing out that analogy of I got up, I got to school by logging on my device. I got onto campus and they know who I am because I have Clever. I walk around my virtual building, which is Schoology, and now I need to have live class, and that's where Microsoft Teams comes in. So here we're signed in as your son, and we're in a sample course where the teacher has put a link to that Microsoft Teams meeting right at the top. And all schools will be a little bit different, but we're trying to make that as obvious and stand out for all of our students and families who are supporting them. So I'm ready to start that Teams meeting. I'm ready to jump into my virtual class. I want to be a little bit early, make sure I'm on time for that and troubleshoot any technology issues. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click right on here on Join Microsoft Teams meeting. And for the first time any student interacts, and hopefully we'll have the opportunity to practice for that first day of school, but the first time you interact with Teams, you're going to be prompted to to turn on your microphone and your camera. Teams actually gives you a pop-up for that, and I can come up here and I can say allow. So if asked, make sure you allow. And it says, I'm ready to go with this meeting. I can see myself, so I can check the camera, and I can go ahead and I can jump and join now. First of all, I can turn on my camera on and off right here. So sometimes we're gonna have the camera on, sometimes maybe to save bandwidth, I'm gonna have the camera off. I can mute myself and unmute myself using the microphone. I can use the three dots to, to make some changes like turn off my incoming video to reduce my bandwidth. I can raise my hand here and lower my hand so I, when I want to speak and I'm going to indicate that to my teacher. I can join and participate and read the chat that's happening in the course by clicking on the little chat bubble and I can see the other participants in the class um, so I know other fellow classmates who are in this with me. Um, when I want to go and chat with them. So all those options pop up. Those are the basic controls within Teams. And at the very end of the meeting, when it's time to leave, I can click the hang up button to hang up in the Teams meeting. And two things that are very important, John, we have to imagine right now it's just you and me, but in a classroom there could be 20 or even more students in one virtual setting. Locating that mute button is very important, which the teachers will help uh, everyone find and use repeatedly. But going into class with Earbuds that have a microphone attached can be really, really important so you don't hear feedback from the teacher, hearing him or herself, and hearing the, the students uh, interact with one another. It, it reverberates and can be very distracting. And so one thing we recommend, I, I think it's fair to say, John, is earbuds with microphones attached really improve the virtual learning experience in Microsoft Teams. Is that, would that be fair to say? Definitely. Anything we can do to uh, have proper posture, protect our ears, protect the people around us, the surrounding with volume, I recommend. So a, a pair of headphones or earbuds would be great. Um, have the screen brightness up as high as it can go and really enjoy the time that you have with your teacher and your classmates for learning. All right, John Gregory from our teaching, learning and innovation team, thank you very much. And, and we wanna thank you and, and all our families in Henrico County Public Schools who have watched us through this series of, of different platforms, tools and steps to take in order to be as successful as possible on the first day of school, which is September 8th. If you'd like to review any of this information or see the one place where lots of information related to the predominantly virtual start exist, Go to henricoschools.us slash return to school. Again, that website is henricoschools.us slash return to school. Thank you for watching.